Hi, my name is Tammy, and as promised, here's a video I made for you. So we'll first take a look at your Google business listing and talk about that first. So what it takes to get into the Google Map Pack listing is an optimized Google listing, having everything filled out here properly, hours of operation, services, location areas, pictures, and we like to geotag our pictures. It just gives it that little extra boost for SEO. Having a minimum of 25 reviews, which you're doing really good, you're at 57. I know it can be a little difficult to get people to take the time to write a review, but one thing you could do is just make a flyer with a QR code on it and give it to your clients after you perform a service. And that way they can just scan it right there and it'll take them to your Google business listing. Just making it as easy as possible for them to leave you a review in this space. That's if you wanted to get some more reviews. Also down below, you did take advantage of this. Here you are able to put 750 words so you can add some more words in there if you want to describe what you do. And you're able to fill out some keywords as well and that'll really help optimize this listing. Another thing we do is citations. So that's your business name, address, and phone number in different directories like Yelp, Yellow Pages, BBB, Facebook, so what we do is we build out 200 of them so that you far surpass your competitors and it takes them a while to catch up to you. So now going to take a look at your website. Your website is really nice. You have a really nice looking website with beautiful pictures. And then you have the contact form down here too, which is really nice. Google, however, doesn't really care what your website looks like. They mostly care about the content, and that's all the words in here that you can read. So the average ad has about 1,500 words on the home page, and that way you're able to put in more keywords because the rule of thumb is you can have one keyword for every 125 to 150 words of content. If you do more than that, it's considered keyword stuff stuffing, and you can get docked for that. So... Let's go over to this paid tool that I use called Ahrefs, and I put you in up here at the top. And I'll just break down the analytics a little bit for you. So the DR is the power and trust your website has from Google, and you gain trust from the number relevant backlinks that you have. A backlink is basically any website that has a link that leads back to your website. But it's really important to keep in mind that not all backlinks are created equal, so you're going to get a lot more power and trust from Google if you have other roofing companies linking to you versus McDonald's because Google knows you're not a fast food company. So you're at 75 backlinks and then your referring domains over here and the referring domains are just the websites that host those backlinks. You're at 22 organic keywords and roughly getting around 17 people searching your site each month. Now I'm going to bring up a possible competitor who I brought up as Grows Roofing. And the reason I chose them is because they were up here when I searched for Roofing Roofers North Carolina. So this is what we call the map pack. So to get up here organically, it takes the two things. It takes a, a optimized Google listing. I don't know. I couldn't couldn't think for a second. Optimize Google listing and citations. And then down below here is the organic section. And this is where your website comes into play. So let's go on over to their analytics and we can just see what they're doing. If it's good enough to get them ranked on the first page, it's good enough to get you there too. So I did put them up here at the top and you can see that they have more power and trust. They have a lot more backlinks. So we could just build out more backlinks. They have more Referring domains at 85 inorganic keywords, which is why they're roughly getting around 554 people per month. Now I'll just bring this up real quick and I'll show you kind of what we do. So the keywords are over here on the left. The search volume, how many times a certain keyword is searched per month. The KD is the keyword difficulty, so we have a lot of a lot of filters, and I'm just able to put in, I usually do less than 15. That way we can really get you ranked for a good word. The CPC is the cost per click. So say you wanted to run an ad with Roofing North Carolina in it, it's going to cost you $22.78 to run that ad. So we just look, look at the keywords here. 
just to give you some example, like 150, let's see, no. Doo -doo -doo. So this would be a really one, good one to go after because the keyword difficulty is pretty low and the search volume is high. So it's at 500 people per month searching Rally North Carolina Roofer. So that's just for an example so I can show you. It can get really more specific as to the specific services and the specific areas that you provide your services to. So if you do feel like scaling further, please feel free to reach out if you have any questions at all. It's not all about the money. I can answer any questions for you. And I thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I know you were busy. Have a great day.